What if I told you that you could be breathing bacteria into your brain without your body even knowing about it? It's a pretty scary thought, isn't it? The bacteria that I study is Burkholderia sphidomaliae, which causes the disease meliodosis. Not many people have heard of it down here, but in northern Australia, people fear it more than crocodiles. In Australia, it has a 20% mortality rate, which can reach as high as 40% in Southeast Asia. Have you ever travelled to these regions? Because this bacteria can hide in your body for a really long time before making you sick. There was a man who didn't get sick until 62 years after travelling to Southeast Asia. So how can we breathe this bacteria in? Well, the answer lies with the trigeminal nerve. This is the largest cranial nerve and is responsible for our sense of touch and ability to chew. It is shown in the left image in red. It provides a direct link between the outside world where we breathe in and deep within our brain. My research has found that bacteria can not only enter this nerve, but travel right along until deep within the brain and can even continue on into the spinal cord. And this is the middle image showing two green bacteria within the spinal cord of a mouse only 24 hours after being exposed to the bacteria. I am the first person in the world to show that bacteria can enter the brain using this pathway, almost like a highway directly into the brain. So the big questions now are what other bacteria can use this route and what diseases could they be causing? I have just recently shown that a bacteria species linked to Alzheimer's disease can also use this highway. And perhaps other bacteria species may help to initiate autism, schizophrenia. How close could you or someone you know be to one of these destinations? Autism, schizophrenia, Alzheimer's disease. Is breathing killing us? Go on, I dare you. Take a good sniff. Thank <laughs> you.